Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make mock-ups for my listings on my website and on Etsy. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I make my mock-ups and how I make my listing photos and I'm going to show you guys that today specifically using PicMonkey. So making mock-ups I feel like are really helpful especially if you want to offer a ton of different options in your shop but you just do not have time to make each and every variation of that listing and I get it. It is a lot of work and mock-ups save so much time. So I personally use PicMonkey and I absolutely love it because of the options that they offer and the ease of their website. And when you open their website, you can create anything for free, but you just can't save it for free unless you have a membership. They used to not charge and I've had it for years back when they didn't charge and when they switched over to where you had to pay for it, I did not mind at all because I absolutely loved it. And I totally feel like it's worth it if you're creating things for your business because you can also make logos, branding for your page, edit pictures, and just so much more. And if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below if you want to try PicMonkey free for 30 days. And then if you like it, it actually gives you a pretty good discount using that link down below. It regularly is $7.99 a month or a yearly price of $72, but with this code, it'll be around $59 for the year. So let's go ahead and get into how I make these mock-ups. So today first, I'm gonna make a wood sign mock-up and then I'm gonna do a vinyl decal mock-up. So when you first open up the website, you're gonna go over here to the top left-hand corner where it says create new. And then blank canvas is what you're gonna hit. And as you can see, it gives you a ton of different templates on here. And I love this because for Etsy, it has all of the dimensions that you'll need to create different Etsy things for your shop. So your shop icon, your banner, your listing photo, and then it even has social media stuff on here and um, Instagram and uh, Pinterest and LinkedIn, Snapchat, all of that stuff, everything you'll need for your business. Even YouTube, I use it to make my thumbnails and everything. So today, like I said, we're gonna be doing our Etsy listing photos. So we're gonna click that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be creating is a wood sign mock-up. And something important I wanna mention is when you're creating something super customized like wood signs, sometimes it's a better idea just to take your own mock-up photo and it's really easy to do that. You just make a sign exactly how you would make it and then just take a picture of it. And you don't need any fancy cameras or anything like that. Just make sure you have good lighting and take a picture and then use that as your mock-up photo. And then you can kind of insert your pictures and stuff from there. But um, the reason why I do this is because a lot of those professional mock-up pictures the wood signs are not going to look exactly like yours and you're going to probably come across those customers that nitpick and see that your sign does not look exactly like the photo blah 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 blah. and so I have found that it's just safer I guess to do your own photo and it just more accurately represents your branding and your business now I am totally not against using mock-ups online I use them for a lot of other things but for my wood sign specifically I just like to take those myself just in case, you know, just to cover myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture that I took of a wood sign that I made. And um, you go over here to this panel right here where it says graphics and it looks like little shapes and add your own graphic and from your computer, Okay, so this is a picture that I have taken of a wood sign that I've made. And what I'm gonna do, this wood sign in particular is gonna be um, vertical, not horizontal. So I'm just gonna click right here in the image. It'll have a little rotate button right here. So I'm gonna rotate it up and down. And then when you've done that and you're ready to kind of get your picture so you can kind of play around with it a little bit more, I'm gonna go over to again to add your own graphic and select that. And I'm actually going to be using a mock or a um, SVG file that I just designed, and it is in my shop, my second Etsy shop, which is Simply Sally Designs. And this is going to be um, a Christmas design. So if you guys are interested in this, I have it in my new shop. So um, you can put a lot of different file types in PicMonkey. I actually really like to use the SVG files because you can change the colors around on here. If you put the JPEG or anything else, you can't really edit the, the pictures. 
or the colors at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the SVG of this. And as you can see, it has a transparent background and it has a way for you to change the pick the color of the trees if you want to, which I think I'm going to. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So you just click on the um, color icon anytime you wanna change the colors and you can do so from there. So I'm gonna just make it a little bit of a darker green, it looks good. And the thing about with the wood, this wood sign in particular, this is just a 12 by 24 sign. And obviously it's not going to fit very well. So I'm going to kind of edit my sign around a little bit to make it fit. And all I need to do once I'm finished with this is just figure up the dimensions of this particular SVG and see what size sign that I'm going to offer. And then when I go into my Etsy listing, I'm going to just input those exact sign dimensions there. So uh, first I'm just going to play around with this and get the sign a little bit. Oops, hold on, let me. I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. And then shrink it down a little bit. And just kind of play around with your uh, sign just to get it to fit exactly. Um, and it's a good idea too to take mock-ups of several different sign sizes. Um, I just right now only really mainly offer a couple of different sizes, so I only have a few on here. And this particular SVG file is going to be a little bit of a different size than I offer, which is totally cool. But um, I'm just going to edit this a little bit more. Okay, so that looks about how I'm going to want my sign to look with my picture. So once you've got it kind of where you want it to be, the next thing I definitely recommend to do is over here in your layers panel, which you can move this around, um, I'm going to group together my sign with my SVG file. So over here, you just hit one of these and then hold down shift and then click your sign. And then I'm going to right click that and group. So now when I move it around, it's all together. So the thing about Etsy's listing photos, yeah, you could stretch this out and make it look, you know, perfectly um, fit into your Etsy listing photo. But when you do that, it's going to actually, it'll, it'll be perfect for when your customer clicks on your listing and looks at it. It'll look just like this. But when you're looking through your thumbnail photos on Etsy, so you know like when you're on your the Etsy's homepage and you're scrolling through all the different listings and you see everybody, all the different shops, um, you can see the little thumbnails and it will actually be kind of cut off because it's a little bit more um, compressed when it's looking like that. So I like to make my pictures a little bit smaller and my um, mock-up picture is going to be a little bit... Um, obviously cut off right here and I don't want a white background. So if you want to change the background of this to kind of match your um, mock-up background a little bit better, make sure you select your background and then you're going to go over here to your left hand side and hit edits and then you can change your background color here. So I'm going to open my palette and then when you want to match the color of your mock-up you click this little eyedropper tool and then just kind of find the color that kind of most matches your um, picture the best. Let's see. So that looks about close enough to me. And you will not see this as well when it's on the thumbnail. And I'll show you guys that in a minute, but I'm just gonna kinda get this kind of centered and how I want it. And oh yeah, by the way, when you're wanting to center on PicMonkey, these, this cross right here signifies that it is centered from the top and the side. So this is perfectly in the middle. If you go up here, it's still in the middle, but it's more at the top. That is exactly center. So that is literally all there is to it. That is how I make my mock-ups for my Etsy listings. And like I said, just remember to keep in mind to make it a little bit smaller or at least in the center to where you can make your listing photo look as good as possible. And I'll kind of show you that in, in a minute how I do that. But once everything looks exactly how you want it, if you want to brighten it up any, you can edit this through PicMonkey. There's so many edits on here you can do. 
Um, you can sharpen it, you can add colors, you can edit whatever you want, but I have it exactly how I want it. So when you're done, you go up here to download and click that and make sure you save it as a JPEG image. And then I always save it as high quality. Okay, so now we're gonna head on into Etsy and just make sure this looks good for the listing photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like I'm making a new listing just to make sure it fits well. So usually PicMonkey saves in your downloads folder. So Okay, so as you can see, right here is your listing photo. So when your customer clicks on it, they're gonna see it like that. And then when you, your th thumbnail photo, it's gonna be just like this. So as you can see, it kind of cut the tops and the sides off a little bit, but this is exactly about the sizing that I'm gonna want it to be. So you can obviously zoom in, you can zoom out, whatever you need to do to make it look good. But that is how I make my wood sign mockups, guys. It's very easy. So now we're gonna head on back into PicMonkey and we're going to make our vinyl decal mockup. So this is very simple and very easy, just like the wood sign mockup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new image and yet again, click blank canvas, Etsy listing photo. And then if you're gonna want a background kind of cohesive to all your backgrounds, mine is kind of like the white ship lap. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, click this texture panel down here on your left hand side and add your own texture. And I recommend purchasing um, backgrounds or if you wanna take your own photo or whatever of a ship lap background or whatever your theme is, even if you want it just a plain white, whatever you want to do. Um, mine is already saved on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. It is under my desktop. Oops. Okay, so as you can see, when you upload your picture, it's going to kind of not be filled out. So you just need to scroll down and zoom in your size to be kind of how you want it. So that's about what I have mine look like. So then you just hit apply and that is my background. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and make a decal listing. So what I normally do is kind of make it look like a real decal, which has the paper background and then the vinyl on the top. So what I do is I go over here to my graphics panel and then click basic shapes. And I'm gonna go down to just a regular square and it makes it like this. And then normally what I'll do is I'll change it to white. And as you can see here, it looks just kind of like a normal white square and you can just leave it at that if you want to, but I like to add a little bit of dimension to it and make it look like a real piece of paper. So I'll go over here to effects and then just hit drop shadow and it's black and I just leave everything the way it is. And when I click out, as you can see, it kind of gives it a little bit of a shadow behind it. So it looks like an actual, piece of paper. So I think that's pretty cool. So next I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make some text in here. So the cool thing about PicMonkey is, is you can upload all of your fonts, which I have on, on here already. And you can use them just like you would for your normal software for making your vinyl decals. So, um, and I forgot to mention the text menu is right here up at the top of your um, little panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in a random Christmas letter or Christmas word. Okay, believe. So if these are gonna be just regular old vinyl decals, I'm gonna just put it inside of my paper here and shrink this down to And then when you're wanting to center it, like I said, you just look for that little red cross and it shows you that it's centered. And that is all there is to that. So now that I have it kind of centered, I'm going to group it together. And grouping, we just hold down shift and select your two on your layers panel. And then right click and group layers. So there is my first little decal. So let's say I'm going to make a variety of Christmas words. I would just um, make a bunch of these and you can duplicate your little square here. And actually I already grouped it. So um, let's see if you want to do that, you just duplicate your layer and it makes a bunch of different ones and I can change the words later, but it's really easy to do. 
So if you're wanting to change your words on here, since I already grouped it, I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup that and delete the word. So now you have a bunch of plain paper. So you can just add your own letters to it. So it's super easy. So yet again, I'm going to ungroup that. Oh, it's already ungrouped. So now I have different um, decals I can make. And the cool thing about this is, is you can kind of layer them on top of each other like this and make it look like it is um, a bunch of decals kind of laying on top of each other and it looks more realistic. So that's always pretty cool. So just like that. And then you can add your words to those. And if you're wanting to do more than just words, so you want to use like an SVG file you might have purchased or made, you're going to go over here to your graphics panel and add your own graphic. So let's go ahead and import an SVG file here. Let's just go ahead and put a, um, oops. let's just go ahead and do a pumpkin. I'm just gonna do a PNG. So all I do for the actual SVG files is I just put them on top of the paper just like this and group those together. And then I have, that as my decal mockup. As you can see, it is really easy to do this. And then once you have it ready and you have everything kind of towards the center, like I said, for your Etsy listing, you're gonna wanna make sure everything is small enough to, that you can see in your thumbnail. But once you're done with that, you just go to download and then you save it. And that is all there is to it. It is so easy. That is how I make my mock-ups. Whenever I want to add a ton of different listings at a time or I have a new line of products and I just want to get it out there for everyone to see, I will put that on there. And that is all there is to it, guys. I hope that y'all found this helpful. Like I said, I love using PicMonkey. I actually have like the expensive softwares and I use those for a lot of other things. But PicMonkey is my first choice when it comes to making my Etsy listing photos or my logos or anything like that. So yet again, guys, I'll leave that link down below if you guys are interested in trying that trial out. I absolutely love it. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer those for you guys. And if y'all want any more PicMonkey tutorials, let me know. And I'm happy to do those as well. But this is just breaking down just a quick video of how I make my mock-ups and my listing photos. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be very soon. Thanks. Bye.